Collecting action figures is such a fun hobby. It can make you feel like a kid again as you celebrate your favorite movie, comic book, or TV show. But if you're new to collecting action figures, starting out can be more challenging than you think. And I don't want you to waste your time or money or start off on the wrong foot toy hunting. This is Captain Video, and this is my guide to starting your own action figure collection. I know this may sound odd, but one of the first things you'll need to think about is how much you love packaging. One of the biggest divides among action figure collectors is whether to collect and display figures loose or mint. Loose meaning the figures have been opened and taken out of their packaging, mint meaning you're trying to find action figures as close as you can to the condition they were displayed in in stores, still in the box, still in their original factory sealed packaging, sometimes referred to as mint in package or mint on card. So if you buy a new Marvel Legends figure or Transformers figure, you've got to decide if you're going to open the box and take the figure out or not. Both have their pros and cons. Honestly, up until about the past year or so, I was primarily collecting unopened action figures, still in the packaging. Mint action figures tend to hold on to their value a little more and can be seen as more of an investment. Once you open a figure, it can lose a significant amount of its resale value. However, I had a change of heart over the past year and have made the switch mostly to collecting loose figures, and I would recommend that you do the same. Or leave it in the box! The best part of collecting loose action figures is that you can put them in different poses, which makes for a much more dynamic looking and fun display. If we've learned anything from Toy Story 2, it's that toys are meant to be played with. This way, it's like playing with toys again, but as an adult collector. You can take them out, you can enjoy them, instead of staring at a box. Or leave them in the box and never touch them! <laughs> Plus, a lot of collectors enjoy photographing their action figures in various poses, and then posting those figures on Instagram to share their collection with the world. For my money, it's also easier to keep loose action figures in the condition you got them in. With mint on card or mint in box figures, you've got to keep the packaged cardboard and flimsy plastic from getting bent, bumped, or broken. Plus, it's way easier to display lots of open figures on a shelf compared to those in a box or a package. Then, if you're just starting out, you'll need to decide if you're going to focus on collecting vintage figures or modern figures. Figures that were released when you were a kid are a lot of fun to collect because that's pure nostalgia. Holding a toy you had when you were a kid or that you just wish you had when you were a kid is lots of fun. Chances are it'll bring back memories and the feeling of being a kid. Collecting vintage figures can make hunting for them in person fairly difficult. While you could happen upon loose figures at a yard sale or flea market or thrift store, you'll mostly be limited to finding older figures for sale online or at toy shows and comic book conventions. If you decide to collect vintage figures, to help your collection stand out and be more fun to pose, you'll want to try to find figures with at least some of the original accessories. For example, any vintage Darkwing Duck action figure is cool, but trust me, he's a lot more fun with his hat, cape, and gas gun. When it comes to finding vintage figures, obviously almost anything you could think of, from Beast Wars Transformers to Samurai Jack, is on eBay. But if you're new to collecting, it's hard to guess what might be an expensive toy line and what might be affordable until you look. For example, I was able to get each of the figures from Jim Lee's Wildcats, circa 1994 and 1995, made by Playmates, for just a few dollars each, shipping included. At the same time, the action figure line Food Fighters, one of the most random ones that I have loved from my childhood, is also all over eBay, but the price is typically more than I'd ever want to spend for a single, loose action figure. So ultimately, buying vintage figures is equal parts doing research and hoping to get lucky on your toy hunt. Collecting modern figures may be the easiest way to start toy collecting. This is because of the convenience factor. Not only can you browse an infinite number of options online through places like Amazon, Entertainment Earth, or Big Bad Toy Store, but you can also visit your local retail stores and find several popular toy lines, toy lines aimed at adult collectors. You can browse your local Target, Walgreens, Walmart, and independent retailers like your local comic book store and find a lot of cool options. 
There you can buy your figures at the manufacturer's suggested retail price, or maybe even a little lower if there's a sale. And chances are, at least concerning some of the biggest toy properties, if you loved a character or cartoon or movie as a kid, that character might still be represented in a modern toy line today. At the time of this recording, some of the most popular toy lines today are the Star Wars Black series and Hasbro's Marvel Legends. But it's also very easy to find modern Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, WWE Superstars, and especially Transformer action figures on shelves across the globe. Whether you've decided you're focusing on packaged figures or loose figures, and whether you're going vintage or looking at modern figures that are still in stores, the next thing to do is ask yourself what or who you want to collect most. It sounds simple, but if you're brand new to collecting action figures, a good starting point is to think of a character, movie, or television show you love and make an accompanying toy line your introduction to collecting. Try to be as specific as you can starting out with what toy line you're grabbing. Obviously your collection can grow and expand later, but you can't collect, say, any Spider-Man figure or everything with the word Star Wars on it. I mean, you could, but there's a bazillion of them out there and you want the beginnings of your collection to look like they belong together. So, for example, don't just grab any figure that says Star Wars. On shelves right now, there are Force Link Star Wars figures and 12-inch Titan Star Wars figures and Toy Box Star Wars figures and 3.75-inch Black Series figures and 6-inch Star Wars Black Series figures and so on and so on. It's too much for even an experienced collector. If you're just starting out, pick one line of figures and begin there. And then I'd suggest you begin, if at all possible, by starting your collection with a few of your favorite characters from that series. Character matters. Case in point, you could begin a Marvel Legends collection with Lady Beetle, Speed Demon, Red Guardian, and Black Bolt, and you would technically have a Marvel collection. But wouldn't you rather start your Marvel Legends collection with Iron Man, Black Panther, Deadpool, and Loki? I know I would. Think of familiar characters you sincerely like that are in that toy line. Make a wish list, do some price comparisons, and begin toy hunting. Start strong. But also, and this is my next tip, start with the budget. Collecting action figures is a great and rather inexpensive hobby. $10 here, $20 there. You're not collecting guitars or classic cars or Air Jordans. But be wise with your money while still having fun. After all, most of us have limited funds to spend on toys. Make what we can call phase one of your collection a small number, say three to five figures, that are affordable. So, as much as you might want a genuine Star Wars The Black Series Boba Fett, a toy that tends to be really expensive in the aftermarket, I wouldn't start with that. In that case, start with maybe a Jango Fett figure, or a prototype Boba Fett figure, which you can find years after their original release at a price that's a few dollars more than their original retail price. Nothing too crazy expensive. Or pick up a Han Solo or Lando figure from the local toy shelves right now. Save the big purchases for later into your collection. And think of something like a Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Giant Man as an investment piece. As a new collector, try to restrain yourself from building up your collection quickly. You don't want to waste your money or buy something you'll end up trying to resell a few months later. Obviously the most affordable way to build your collection is to search for lots on eBay. Collections of figures, new or used, that will be sold for one lump sum and probably shipped in just one big box. But I think, if you buy a figure or two at a time, you tend to appreciate each one more and remember the story that went along with finding it. Another tip I'd give you is to ask yourself where you're going to display your new action figures, because they need a space, at home or even at the office. Trust me, it's way better than stashing them in a box or a drawer because they'll remind you of childhood memories and help take your mind off the stressful things of life for a few minutes. Plus, other people who don't even collect toys should see your sweet new action figure collection. Awesome! And finally, I'd suggest doing your research by reading or watching reviews of action figures you might be interested in. There are a lot of great action figure centered channels like Toy Galaxy, Shardimus Prime, and Pixel Dan, just to name a few that post regular reviews of action figures and point out the best and worst aspects of what's out there and up for grabs. Even when it comes to collecting action figures, I believe that knowledge is power. So make sure, as you take your first steps into a larger world, that you have that power too. 
I hope this video helps you make some decisions as you begin your own action figure collection. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do video essays and toy reviews and have new content each week. Also, please let me know in the comment section if you have any other tips for someone new to collecting action figures. And remember, you don't have to wear a cape to be a hero. To be awesome, you just have to treat people awesome.